So look at that, gonna be a fresh one this morning, minus six, <laughs> put the woolly hat on today. Right, so morning, start of another day. Sun's not come up yet, but as I uh, suspected, uh, this board I left out just for sort of mocking up yesterday, it's got this layer of frost on it, so it's good that we didn't put any boards down because this, this will be uh, very treacherous to, to be working on, so we'll probably just put this one to one side and get some of those fresh ones up there. So I'm gonna set a camera up on time-lapse and we can watch us as we blast this lot down. Let's go. Still fresh this morning, but you know, once we get up to speed and we all get warmed up, um, looks like it's gonna shape up to be a nice day, say. So, Completely clear skies, sun's not quite up yet. So uh, that'll be making an appearance anytime soon. So let's go. It's Friday, so it's a very special day today. New pencil day, woohoo! So they see from the time lapse two things. A, the sun's come out. Uh, the sun's come out, and uh, secondly, that we've got all this deck down. So what I've got to do now is work on these curbs. Uh, what they need to have is 150 mil upstand above the 150 mil of insulation, and there's 18 mil of deck on top of that. Um, and the top of them have got a five degree uh, pitch on them because this is just a flat panel. It's not a lantern, as I said earlier. So. I'm going to start working on those. Obviously, I've made things a little bit difficult for myself by putting those sort of uh, packers under the backside 
um, just to, so we get a bit of fall either side of the back of that um, curb. But I'll probably just put a plate through there, fix a plate down, and then just cut my upright noggins sort of accordingly. So uh, less, we've got some four by two up here to do that with. So I'll get my head around it and we'll start make a start on that. Right, I'm just setting up these curves and just going to quickly talk you through what I'm doing. It's not, it's not actually, it's not super simple. It's not difficult, but basically this flat roof here has got a one in 44, um, which equates to about, <coughs> excuse me, about 1.4 degrees. So I've, you can see I've got a bottom four by two plate here, which is obviously going to be running at 1.4 degrees. So the bottom part of this noggin, noggin I've cut at just over one degree on the saw. But then the pitch of the top of this uh, opening wants to be five degrees. So this uh, line uh, cut here is at five degrees. Um, so that obviously gives this um, piece of this top plate here is five degrees. I've also ripped five, five degrees off the edge there so that sits nice and flush. Obviously it doesn't run through that side, but the plasterboard will carry that. I'm just gonna show you how I now, I've set a plate up on the back there. I can't, I built this one in a frame. Uh, nailed it up, but obviously I can't do that on this back one because the behind the curb there humps up because we put those spaces on. So what I'm going to do is get the height each end, put a nog on each end, put my level across and then measure down. But I'm just going to show you how I've got this measurement. All I've literally done is put my level on. This is a little mock-up piece with a one, just over one degree cut on the bottom. And uh, all I've done, if, I don't even know if you can see that because I thought I'd get in some sunlight. But can you see that little... Uh, laser measure says five degrees it's, it's quite handy actually we know that this uh, level straight so all i've done is uh, slid this up and down until that reads five degrees and put a mark there and then i know that that's exactly right all i've got to do is take the thickness of the top plate off there uh, cut one the two cut another one the same length as that for the other end and then literally put the level across the top and measure down for the two center ones and that'll be spot on so and then it'll just be a case of uh, in filling the corner so just thought I'd talk you through that because it's a little bit to think about. off there. Let's do that quickly. Nice. Let's build those sides now. Bosh. Same here. Well, that cut will have a, a five degree angle on it. Last bit of timber to go, plate in the top. It's got a five degree 
uh, bevel on one end and it's square on the other because this obviously uh, I didn't cut this off with the saw. Sorry, I did cut off with the saw, so that will be it. That will be at 90 degrees to the pitch, uh, and that will be plumb. So I know it sounds a bit complex, but when that all goes in there, that'll be a treat. This has got to come over that way a little bit. So let's get that out of here. See, even with the best one of the world, look, this is angled slightly, but probably get a big screen in through there. I know the measurement, the internal measurement we're looking for is 750, so that's exactly what it is there. So, do the same on the other end, get there, then we can get the other one done and clad this in OSB. Oh. So as you can see, God, that sun's blinding. I've got those uh, curbs upstands done now. Absolutely brilliant. We've got 100, by the time we put six inches of insulation on here and then the 18 mil deck, um, that'll be six inches will be left above at the lowest point. And obviously they, uh, that goes up in a five degree pitch. They look, they, I don't know if you can just see that, strike a nice line down through there. Double checked with my uh, little laser measure and we've ended up about 5.2 degrees. So really not, not worried about that. So. So yeah, if we just have a look down there, you can see that they all sort of come in line quite nicely. Quite a lot going on here, really. You know, we've got um, one degree, degree cuts there and five degree cuts there and a five degree bevel there and that's square and that's got a five degree bevel on it. That's got one degree bevel on it. But it's worth it because those curbs are now plumb and they've all got that pitch on top. So uh, waffle, waffle, waffle. Let's get some of this OSB up, get those cladded and then we can start to have a, we just had a bit of a block put in there now the it's not freezing now so that block's been put in there so we finish this bit of uh, decking which is there and then we can have a look at working on a sort of end detail uh, before I put the insulation I'm going to maybe cut some packers or something in here so that it gives me something solid to fix the top deck down to through the insulation and then we can fix uh, I'm going to fix like a backing fascia on there but anyway uh, let's get these upstands padded that's all of those curbs done now. Nice five degree pitch on the top. What I'm gonna do is have a little bit of a tidy up here. Uh, as I said, got a bit of board to put in there because that block was been done, same the other end. And then what I'm gonna do is work on a sort of, a kind of detail on the bottom here to give the top sheet of OSB something to fix into and also a kind of keep it a bit more accurate rather than just sandwiching the six inch Celotex straight in between. So uh, we're gonna have a little think about that and then uh, see how we get on. So I did manage to grab a, a quick photo in the madness of this edge detail I was just talking about. And what you can see here, uh, we've got 150 mil insulation, which has been put on top of a vapor control layer, which has obviously gone on top of the deck that you've already seen. The bits of timber on the front of that are ripped exactly to 150 mil and they are screwed down through the, the deck that's on the bottom and into the toe detail of the joist below. What this enables me to do is then fix the front edge of the top layer of OSB into them but also it gives me a nice straight line to fix that too as well. You can also see on the left hand side I've ripped down some more OSB which is basically a sub fascia or a backer for the fascia. I've pre-drilled and screwed that through the top edge into the OSB on the top 
and on the bottom it's just fixed onto those timber nog as you can see and they're about every four or five hundred mil I can't remember exactly I would have liked to have explained this more as I was doing the video but as you'll see we really did have to crack on so unfortunately this is the best I can do here right it's been madness today absolutely like full speed so I really haven't filmed anything I don't know what I'm gonna better make a video out of it but couldn't show too much We've got a membrane one on top of the OSB to stop any interstitial condensation coming through. Um, then 150 mil Celotex, then another layer of board on top. You can just see here, we've got these lovely 200 mil long screws that we put in. Uh, fascia then uh, closed the whole lot off nicely. We've got a drip uh, fillet, I don't know what they call it on there, tilt fillet on the end that the roofer wants. Uh, the, uh, you can see here that the uh, curbs up stands are done there's a tilt fill out there this is having mineral blow torch torch on felt put on it so that's all ready to go so yeah uh, it's just been mad the sun's starting to go down now the temperature's starting to drop so we'll just quickly grab a few shots of this because what we're going to do is clean all my tools down clean this off and then we're going to put some uh, polythene over the top of it just so that it keeps the frost off it tonight because the roof is coming in the morning so uh, that's all I mean so there you go uh, I hope you've made sense of this video and if you watched the previous video, thank you very much. It's just a little flat roof. You say flat roof and you think, oh, you conjure an image in your mind. It's really, really simple, but actually uh, there's a lot to think about. It's been four days hard graft on here and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, thank you for watching.